The camera's on! And you can tell Bubba's girl, his achy, I mean his achy breaking something. She, she might as well fly out, out to Japan. I just don't think Bubba would understand. And you can tell Bubba's girl, his achy breaking girl, she might fly out to Japan. <laughs> and Shane in the membrane. It's going insane! Insane in the membrane. It's going insane! Huh! Huh! Hello! Hoo hoo! Wee doggy doggy butthole butt! Me meow! Meow! Uh, hello everyone! My name is Finn Fonte, and uh, yeah, boy! Okay, so today I'm doing something a little different than what I've done before, as you uh, would know if you watched my recent update video. I, I, um,. Gonna try some more things. I did not rule out gaming, but I'm not revolving the channel around gaming so much anymore. That's basically, that's basically what I'm saying. But, um, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get right into this. So, there is a channel that I came across, um, a couple of years ago, I think. I, it was a while ago. And, uh, I have to say, it's one of the cancerous, uh, most disgusting and revolting things that I've ever seen in the history of mankind um, <laughs> on YouTube. Uh, I'd like to show you it, um, but first I think I have to adjust that camera angle. Oh, you fucking bitch ass fucking piece of- Okay, you know what? Fuck you, camera angle. That's where you're gonna be for now. I may have even made it even worse. I don't give a fuck fucking licking my butthole bitch. So this cancer's presence that I'm referring to is none other than fuck hate. And they have their dot cam in the center there, or in the corner rather. <laughs> but fuck hate is a YouTube channel with almost 65,000 subscribers. If you look at their channel art, it says speak out, stand out. That's a good message. And uh, you should speak out, you should stand out. It's a good thing to shine. So let's see what type of messages they're spreading and how they're speaking out and how they're standing out. Pretty. Yeah. <gasps> pretty. Okay. Pretty. What the fuck? I'm not the pretty fucking helpless princess in distress. I'm pretty fucking powerful and ready for success. So what is more offensive? A little girl saying fuck or the fucking on equal and sexist way. Society treats girls and women. Okay, see, this is the first problem that I, the very first problem that I notice with this video is that they taught all the little girls how to be the bitchiest, most annoying person you could be. And listen to the fucking music that they use for this. I'm not the pretty fucking helpless princess. Like, who the fuck is the one that found that music for him? The only soundtrack that I can think of that might be more obnoxious would be that annoying Google ad music. I'm not the pretty fucking it actually be very fitting for this. So what is more offensive? A little girl saying fuck or the fucking on equal and sexist way? Society treats girls and women. So let's disregard the fact that they're using little girls to spread their message at first, but what the fuck are you talking about? The way society treats girls and women. See, the problem with, with causes uh, like these is they're stuck thinking that we still live in like the 1800s and I don't know what they're talking about because nowadays women are equal men are equal we have equal rights we have equal privileges I honestly can't think of one way that society is less fair towards women than it is towards men actually nowadays it seems to be flipping and being more fair <laughs> towards women since be these people go so over-the-top crazy with their message they basically praise women which is fine but they also scold men but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue this video. It's our future. So listen up, grown-ups. Here's some words more fucked up than the word fuck. Okay, so I get it. You're trying to be edgy. You're trying to get your point out by little girls saying cuss words. That's really gonna get people's attention. Wow. Hey, inequality. Women are paid 23% less than men. Okay, all this shit. Imagine if every time I made a video, I was, all right, listen up. Listen up to me. Listen, listen to fu listen to me, listen to me. Liberals are stupid. Ah, fuck, shit. All right, that is actually kind of what I do already, but <laughs> I'm not that annoying. 23% less than men. For 
were the exact same? Women are paid 23% less than men. 23% less than men. I want to know where you got this statistic. If you don't know what bullshit the wage gap myth is by this point. Wow, I, I didn't realize where I paused that. And women who graduate university with straight A's get paid as much as men who only got C's. So, bad grades equal more bank? Just because you're a boy? Um, hello and hell no. Pay up, motherfucker! I shouldn't need a penis to get paid. I, I, I can't, I, I can't, I can't, I can't get over the obnoxious music. I can't get over the fucking cocky ass cunt. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. They taught these little girls how to be the perfect definition of a cunt. That's what they're instructing them to be. To be the bitchiest piece of shit. On the I actually feel bad for the kids because it is sad that these kids have to be subjected to this. It's 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 sad they've uh, adults instructing them to be these pieces of dog shit. But they're ultimately going to be pieces of shit because of this now. I mean, uh, every little girl you see in this video, uh, maybe not, but just about definitely they're going to be pieces of shit in the future. I'm so sorry that these people did this to you. Rape and violent fucked up facts. One out of every five women will be sexually assaulted or raped by a man. One, two, three, four, five. Which one of us will it be? Well, the way they're designing you, none, but... <laughs> uh, the one out of five women will be raped or sexually assaulted in their lifetime fact. Now, there's something that most people miss there. Do you realize it says raped or sexually assaulted? Do you know what can qualify as sexual assault nowadays and what they can report as what someone can report as sexual assault nowadays? A girl could literally be walking on the sidewalk and you go... <laughs> Wow, or some shit. And she's like, Ugh, what did you just say? And that could be sexual assault. That could be charged as sexual assault. If a man and a woman were about to fuck each other. <laughs> Chad's gonna try to get all, say, yeah, uh, PC about it. But, um, then, and, and, and the man, man basically persuades her into it. I'm not saying he fucking rapes her. I'm saying she starts off skeptical about it, but then he gets her into it and she does it. What happens is that some women who feel guilty about this, they now want to say the man raped them because I didn't really want- did you want it? No. Yeah, so he made you do it. Yeah, I guess so. That's not rape. The woman starts off skeptical about it, the man basically talks her into it. Now, if the woman puts her foot down and says no, and the man does it, that's rape. You can report that. But reporting a man persuading you into bed? That's fucked up. I mean, that's a- you're a piece of shit. I mean, what did you think he was gonna do? Just be like- you're just gonna be like, no? And be like, oh, okay. I mean, most men are gonna be like, oh, come on. But if you put your foot down and say no, that's a totally different story. Anyway, I'm getting off track. Let's keep watching this horrible piece of shit video. So how many more women have to get knocked down before society stands up and stops it? And stops it! How many more videos does fuck hate have to make before society stands up and stops it? Where are these women? Where are these women that are being limited the way you're talking about? Feminists? Oh, apparently you are. F-bombs for feminism. See, that's the only way this can be explained is that feminists are involved. And feminists are the worst fucking people on the planet. Demon spawns from hell. I've never met anyone more disgusting than a feminist. They are the worst people. You know, feminism was supposed to stand for women's rights. Nowadays, it stands for women's supremacy. It's a totally different cause. I understood the point of feminism in the beginning, but now... This is too far! That's a hot tip! Stop telling girls how to dress and start teaching boys not to fucking rape! Stop telling girls what to wear and stop teaching men not to fucking rape. Okay, there's a couple things about this statement. Teaching girls what to wear. The reason they have dust code is to teach morals and decency. The reason- Why do you think we wear clothes? What if the- <laughs> Why are there laws? What you- you, you to tell me? I can't walk around naked. Fuck you. The laws are there to teach decency to the girls. And yes, of course, the laws are also there to protect them because there are rapists who would see that and be like, Oh yeah, I mean- no shit. 
That doesn't mean that all fucking men are rapists, you dumb fuck. That just means that the that that the rapists of the world, it's not good to attract them. That's like getting in the water and you you know you want you want to put like chum all over you. And someone's like, hey, don't put chum all over you. A shark can come grab you up. And you're like, what? How about instead of telling me not to put chum on, you teach all the fish not to fucking eat me? And then you're like, not all the fish are sharks, you dumb bitch. Just the sharks are. That's a hot tip. Stop telling girls how to dress and start teaching boys not to fucking rape. And since when have we not taught men not to rape? What the fuck are you talking about? Is it not illegal or frowned upon to be raped? I want to know who is it that supports this rape culture that you're acting like exists. We are in America, and in America, rape is not praise. It is greatly frowned upon, and you can go to prison for fucking the rest of your life for raping somebody. Because it's fucked up, and everyone knows it is. Who are you fighting? We're glad a women's right to vote is fair. But equality's next step is walking to the car without fear. Be pretty. So here's the tricky thing. Pretty, it's a compliment. But here's how this focus works to girls' detriment. Society teaching girls that our bodies, boobs, and butts are more important than our brains leads us to thinking our worth comes from our waistline. My aspirations in life should not be worrying about the shape of my ass. So fuck focusing on how I look. And give me a book. <laughs> the continued sexism, girls and women's stale face. See, now here's one of the weirdest things about feminists. They get so angry. They're so mad that you dare body shame is the retarded shit they call it. But then they're also so mad that you dare to praise anyone for being good looking. Because here's the reality. Feminists are just fueled by ugly bitches. <laughs> and an ugly bitch doesn't want to know they're an ugly bitch. And they don't want you to tell anyone that they're pretty. So now they have to act like it's an actual insult to call someone pretty. Like Kate Upton. You know, you say, oh, Kate Upton, you're pretty good looking. She's gonna be like, what the fuck did you just say to me? Ugh, I can't believe you'd say that to me. So imagine if you just never told anyone they're good looking. If the whole world, we just never talked about the way anyone looked. Like if a girl complimented me, you know, I was out talking to her. She's like, hey, she's like, oh, oh man, do you work out? I'd be like, what the fuck did you just say to me? Do I, you think I'm limited by my muscles, by, by my, by my perfect body. <laughs> I'm supposed to take personal offense to that, that I look good. You know what? How about instead of being so sad that you're ugly and fat and other people are good looking, get on a treadmill, you fat bitch, put on some makeup, look a little better, and you won't be upset with the way, you won't be so upset with the way you look, may maybe. Don't be mad at other people for being good looking. Just try to work on your own flaws rather than being such a lazy fuck that you take it out on the people who don't have the flaws. Um, instead of cleaning- Oh uh, yeah, okay. Well, it appears that I was right there, huh? <laughs> These girls' mouths out with soap? <gasps> Maybe society should clean up its act. This is what a feminist looks like. This is what a feminist looks like. Don't you want to be one? She's pretty. <laughs> No, I don't even mean just, uh, she's not very pretty on the outside. Uh, she's also not very pretty on the inside. This is exactly what a feminist looks like. The cockiest, bitchiest, nonsensical, most fucked up demon spawn on the planet. This screeching pile of a retarded hyena is what a feminist is. I don't know why they think that's a good thing. Demental rights. From each shirt goes to kick-ass charities that are fighting every day to make the world more equal for women and girls. Yo, bro, when you tell a boy it's bad to act like a girl, it's because you think it's bad to be a girl. No, you fucking idiot. When you tell a boy not to act like a girl, it's because that a boy should act like a boy and not like a girl. It doesn't mean that they think acting like a girl is bad because you should act like a girl if you're a girl. I, I, I don't even think that kid, obviously that kid, he isn't what the fuck he's talking about. But whoever told him to say that, you're a retard. Men are supposed to act different than women. 
and they do act different than women. Men, in nature, women are supposed to take care of the children, men are supposed to provide for the family and fight off danger. You don't think those two, those two jobs, those two drastically different jobs would require different types of personalities and different actions and different abilities and shit like that? There's things women can do that men can't and things men can do that women can't. Not, not necessarily can't, but cannot do nearly as well on, on either side. It's not an insult towards women when you tell a man not to act like a girl. It's an insult towards a man because he's not doing his job. He's not being a man. I, I just, I, I can't, I don't know how this could be explained any more clearly. Like a girl. It's because. And what the fuck are they doing parading this kid around in a princess outfit? You fucking freaks. That's obviously a comedy routine. Like I put on a princess outfit for a stupid skit, but don't try and fucking put this motherfucker in a princess outfit and act like it isn't weird because it's fucking weird that a little boy is running around in a princess outfit because he ain't a princess he's like he'd be a prince so you think it's bad to be a girl fuck that sexist shit fuck that sexist shit sexism one of the most incorrectly used terms today fuckhate.com fuckhate.com swear jar i don't give a fuck Fuck me, I'll kick your ass. What the hell? Oh my god, I'm not some big strong man like society wants me to be. You know, one in five men in their lifetime will be subject to be called a girl? Oh, maybe society should stop telling men how to act and start teaching women to act so feminine. <laughs> Did you know that over 73% of the prison population is made up by men? What the fuck? Maybe society should stop telling men to be so violent and instead stop talking to men instead of women. And I, and I have something else I'd like to bring up. If feminists are so against being defined by their gender, why the fuck do they act so feminine? What's all this? What's all this the whole time? The, the fucking, the most fem, the cockiest feminine thing you could possibly do is putting a hand on the hip, swaying over like this, and get, making your point eh, like that. I mean, that'd be like me preaching against masculinity in men, and the whole time, like, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, bro, yep, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, bro, mm. bro. Mm, bro, masculinity, uh, bro, that's wrong, bro, not all men are bro, uh. like that, what the fuck are you talking about? When it comes down to it, feminists are run by ugly women who are upset with the way they look and they're mad that no men would ever want to be near that. When it comes down to it, groups like Fuck Hate are run by irrational ugly women who are jealous of good looking women. These chubby bunnies grow up seeking to find closure by assuring themselves that it's society's fault that they're not as pretty as some girls and act as if they want to look the way they do. This way, they give themselves the illusion that they're happy with the way they are and that pretty people should be ashamed of the way they look. Here's the truth. If you're upset with your appearance, change it. Yes, everyone is born differently. A lot, some people are born better looking than others. That's just a fact of life. But if you feel you're overweight, work out, dipshit. Lose the weight. Do what you can to lose the weight. Wear makeup. Do whatever the fuck you can to look better. If you're upset with the way you look, do something about it. Rather than being so late, Here's the weirdest thing. They're too lazy to get up and do that, but they put all this energy into uh, uh, into a movement. They get an army of, of ugly people pushing a movement like this, and all the fucking energy that goes into that could be going into burning their calories. And they wouldn't need these movements because they wouldn't be so upset with the way they look. They wouldn't hate themselves so much that they have to downgrade everyone else for looking good and having what they always wanted. The truth is, the flat-chested feminists are just mad because they have no tits. The fat ones are mad because they're so fat. They want to be skinny. They just want to be good-looking. But they won't do anything about it. Do something about it! When I was younger, and even now, still, I was always upset that I was pretty skinny. I had no muscle, nothing, not like, nothing like the other guys. I've worked my fucking ass off so that I'm not a skinny twig. Naturally, I'm a skinny twig. I'm just supposed to be tall, but really skinny. I didn't start a movement about it, talking about how it's fucked up that men are defined by, you know, big muscles or some shit. Instead of doing that, I did something about it. And I was young. I was really young. I was like nine years old when I started it. But I was smart enough then to know that if I don't want to be a skinny fuck up, 
I got to do something about it. Otherwise, I shut my mouth, swallow my pride, and, and fucking deal with the, the cards I've been dealt. Rather than trying to throw away everyone else's cards. Because that's about the shittiest thing you can do, is being so upset with yourself that you want everyone else to have a shit life. Fuck you. Fuck hate doesn't stop hate. They spread hate. Groups like this are their own enemy, and they have no idea because they're too... Stupid is, is obviously a good word, but also self-centered. These are very self-centered, jealous people. They have no regard for others. They are the scum of the planet. They are what's wrong with the earth. They don't fucking deserve to live. <laughs> These people. They are the bottom of our society. And I'm not talking about women, stupid feminist who's watching this freaking out right now. I'm talking about you, feminist, who's freaking out about this right now. I'm talking about feminists keeping... Keeping the hatred alive! You're the ones keeping the hate alive, you dumb fucks! No. It'd be different if they're fighting a group who is spreading the messages that they're against, but they're fighting nobody. When you are starting a war, fighting nobody, guess what? Someone is going to step up to the, to the plate to fight you. You're going to create the enemy. That's what the fuck hate is trying to do. They're trying to create the enemy. There's no group fighting them right now. There's no group pushing these insane ideas that they pretend exist. But if they keep pushing against these ideas that don't exist, they're going to make them exist. They're going to bring them into existence because somebody's going to say, I can't fucking take you people anymore. I'm knocking you all out. Fuck you. And they're going to go against everything they believe. And it'll be totally their fault. And then guess what fuck hate will say then? They'll say, see, this is what we've been fighting against. No, stupid fuck. This is what you created. I'm all about not bully. I hate bullies. I fucking hate bullies. You shouldn't be bullied because of your looks. You shouldn't be bullied when you've done nothing wrong. That's good. It's good to spread messages like that, but you don't take little fucking girls and teach them that it's wrong to act feminine because you aren't feminine because you look like a man when you should look like a woman sorry i'm sorry if you're born and you're not so good looking it's a shame do the best you can do the best you can i'm not even shaming you for not working out but don't even fucking have the audacity to claim about skinny people being skinny, if you're not going to take it upon yourself to even be try to be skinny, <laughs> you have no room to be mad at anyone else for looking the way you clearly desperately want to, but you're just such a lazy fuck, which is probably why you're so fat, that you won't do anything about it. I don't dislike somebody for being ugly. I've never bullied anyone in my life because I fucking hate bullies. If you're fat, so be it. If you're ugly, so be I'm not telling any of you that you are, because obviously I, I can't even see you right now. <laughs> but if you're not so good looking, don't so fuck don't be so fucking upset. Just do something about it. But I'm not upset with you for that. I'm not shaming fat people or something here. I'm shaming the feminists for complaining about skinny people because they're upset that they're fat. If you're upset that you're fat, do something about it. Do something about it. If people would stop taking out their anger for looking the way they do on people who look the way they want to, just take all that fucking energy that you've got pushing it towards these retarded causes and put it into your own life and being successful, you, you could be so much better. You could be such a better person. Unfortunately, you've chosen to be scum. Feminists are the most disgusting people on the planet. They spread more hate than anybody else. They are their own enemy. They are the cause of everything they hate. All they do is fuel hatred on both sides. They're like cancer. The reason I said cancer is because think about this. Can you get cancer. Cancer starts fighting your body, right? Cancer is attacking something for no reason. Well, the body then starts attacking the cancer. Guess what ultimately happens in the end? The fucking body dies. Both sides lose. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make both sides lose. It's that, it's that mentality that, you know, if I can't have it, nobody can. That's what, that's, that's the feminist motto. That's the fucking whole feminist movement is fueled by. If you're a woman, be the best woman you can be. If you're a man, be the best man you can be. If you're a fucking tree person, be the best tree person you can be. But don't be mad at somebody else for being better than you. 
because I fucking know that Ryan Reynolds is better looking than me, and I'm not mad about that Ryan Reynolds is better looking than me. I'm not gonna make a video. Fuck Ryan Reynolds, thinking he can be good. No, he's better looking than me. It's just fact. It's just the way life is. Get the fuck over yourself. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I'll probably be making more videos about fuck hate in the future. Don't be a feminist. Just be a decent person. Do some sit-ups after this video. Feel good about yourself. Don't eat as much cake. I don't know what to tell you. Be happy! <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a fantastic day. As a man with sunglasses, I do not care about your views. Oh, hello, sir. Who the fuck are you? Who are you? I spit on your face. <laughs> Who the fuck are you to repeat what I said? Hello, sir. Are you... You're a super faggot what you are.